This is an iPhone 15 and I already took off the back. Check out this video if you want to learn how to take off the back. We're doing a Taptic engine replacement. We'll have to remove these three PH000 screws to get the Taptic engine removed. Make sure the battery is disconnected before you do this repair. Once you remove the two screws from the top part of the Taptic engine, a little bracket will come off. Keep track of the bracket, the direction matters where it belongs. The little gold pin goes on the right side. Disconnect the Taptic engine in blue with your plastic spudger and lift out the Taptic engine with your spudger and grab it with your hand. Here's the new part, we're just going to place it in right here and connect the Taptic engine and then we'll lay down that bracket with the gold pin face facing to the right side and sometimes it doesn't snug in so you might have to screw it down a little bit and then screw it all the way down later on after you made sure all the screws are aligned perfectly. After you get all the screws put in, you can connect the battery. Connect the battery and turn it on, and then you'll want to test to make sure it's vibrating and not making a buzzing, shaking noise. Make sure those screws are down tightly so it's not making a weird noise. And if it's not working, you can always check the part in between the vibrating motor, Taptic engine, and um, it's where the SIM card tray is. You'll want to go to my other video to learn how to put on the back.